Breaking news. The Ordnance Valley Airport has been destroyed in apparent bombing. Thankfully, no one was, was hurt, but as of now, the operations in Radiator Springs has been shut down and suspended. And there's even more shocking news. According to Lightning McQueen, apparently a man who was thought to be dead for about nine years, Miles Axelrod. Axelrod's whereabouts are unknown, but a search party is currently underway. They won't catch him. If he made people think he was dead for nine years, then he's clever enough to get away. Yes, but now everyone knows he's still alive, so his secret has been foiled. If I were him, I honestly prefer being dead after being found out. Maybe, but I'm so, not so I'm dead. Why well, I mean, how did you even know that Miles Axelrod was George's old owner, and why didn't you tell any of us? I guess I should have told you guys this last year. But Cher told me that, uh, that Miles Axelrod was George's old owner after the whole bridge incident. He didn't want me to tell anyone because he didn't want the, the, the whole town to be in a panic. George has been making up rumors saying that Miles Axelrod is alive and that he, you know, he died until we just heard the news. And I also thought he was going down the right path to be really useful. I mean, he was grumpy, yes, but he seemed to be going down the right path. But in the end, he tried to kill me again. Lightning, you must understand, though, that Axelrod was his own owner. He probably manipulated him doing these horrible things, and even having a prejudice against race cars. And, I mean, of course, it's not his fault. He, he was just brought up that way, I guess. You know? I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know there was explosive in those vans. I told you something was up. You didn't believe me. But now, something bad had happened, and you were too stupid and went along with his plot. How dare you call him stupid, Will? He was tricked. This was thought of by a monstrous individual. Indeed. We should stop arguing and instead team up and bring justice. I like that. We shall be the next generation squad. Are we going to rebuild the airport, buddy? Of course we will, Mater. We're not going to let Axelrod take us down like this. We're not cowards. Yeah, this is absolutely crazy that this is over new cars making fun of old cars, you know. Yeah, you're right, Dirty. Uh, I have a confession to make, you guys. What is it, Chuck? Alright, so back in 2016, during my, you know, evil days when I used to wreck cars and etc. Um, well first, back in 2011, when I heard the news Miles Axelrod died, until, you know, we heard the news he faked his death. I knew he was alive the whole time. In 2016, I met him, and he told me about his story, and he wanted to help me win my second Piston Cup. And to keep you from winning your 7th Piston Cup. So, I helped him tamper with the Dynaco fuel. And I tampered with your fuel. So, I'm very sorry, Lightning. Wow. You know, Chick, I forgive you. That was four years ago. You know, he kind of manipulated you. Ah, yeah, well, yeah, thank you. Thank you. And I also remember one something else, too. He even tried to get his sponsor into the Piston Cup. Wait a minute. I remember now. I know someone we need to talk to. Well, if it isn't the red tomato on wheels, don't you mess around with us. You knew Miles Axelrod was still alive. Well, I do now. You know now, huh? Funny, you didn't have any contact with the outside world. How could you have known this? Um, well, uh, um, I... He came in here, didn't he? Um, uh, well... Didn't he? Okay, yes, he did. That's all I'm going to tell you. Oh, I don't think so. Start talking, or else we're going to send you to the scrapyard and rip you to pieces. Go on, then. I've been stuck in here in jail for eight years, and now I'm, I welcome death. Oh, really? Yeah, don't think this will, this will save you. Axelrod has other plans, and he's not going to stop until you're dead. Oh, so he still is hunting after me. He's not giving up, is he? Um, well, uh... Good job, you told me everything I needed to know. You really are more stupid than I thought. What's his other plans? I don't know, alright? He didn't tell me. I'm sure he did. No matter though, we'll obviously know you're lying. Come on guys, let's get out of here. Well done, James. You escaped well. Yeah. So what's the plan? I say we move as far away from this town as possible. Not yet. We still have work to do. Work to do? Are you insane? Our cover's been blown. Now the whole town is looking for us. 
Yes, I'm aware of that. But McQueen is still alive, and we're not quitting. He's still alive, you know that? So, what's the plan? The plan is we're going to kidnap more cars. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you saying we're going to take more cars hostage? That was a lot of work back there. I'm not doing any more work. Excuse me, is there a problem? Yes, there is. Thanks to you and Axrod's stupid plans, we were almost apprehended. Don't you understand? Just give it up. They're looking for us, and we're going to get arrested anyways. So you might as well just give up, Kabuto. We're done doing your dirty work. You want us to just give up? Let me make one thing clear with you, Rust Bucket. My legacy is gone, and I am not going to give up. I will make sure McQueen is dead, even if I end up dead afterwards. Yeah, and even if you quit, I will make sure my boys rip you up and send you to the scrapyard. So, unless you want to face the melting part, I suggest you show more respect to us, you ungrateful piece of crap! Silence, huh? I didn't think think you would say anything. Right then, we need to continue on with the plan. Alright guys, the police wants us to help them, help them out with this investigation. Well, of course I'm going to help them out. I'm not just going to sit on my bumper while Axelrod does much damage to the town. Yeah, we need to somehow learn to us and then we can get him apprehended. Well, I have an idea. Why don't we use one of McQueen's piston cups, I guess. I guess, I, I guess that can work. <laughs> I mean, his goal is to have me dead, so it would kind of look like I'm turning myself in or something. Chick, I don't think a piston cup would work. Indeed, it's not going to work. We need to think of some other plan. I have one question now. Why was that all in all racer in jail? Oh, the reason why he was in jail was because he stole a lot of things from Radiator Springs back in 2011, and he tried to set the courthouse on fire. Holy cow, that's terrible. Yeah, and tell me about it. What's this? It looks like some sort of box. Maybe I should report this or something. Ugh. What the, the heck is going on here? Ha, we got you now. Kabuto, what are you doing here? Axelrod. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your day, Shakespeare, but we have... Um, lightning, something bad happened. What happened? I think you need to come listen to this message. This is a message for Lightning McQueen. Yes, I'm still alive, and it is most certainly not over. However, I decided to be reasonable instead of trying to murder or, uh, murder you. I come up with a promise. Me and my minions have some of your, your towny friends hostage right now in different parts of the town. If you do not head to our demands, we will start with destroying these cars one by one. Now then, here are our requests. You and your cousin, and I mean you and your cousin, no police with you. You two will deli uh, deliver to me no less than five million dollars. Cash or check, whatever is convenient for you. Anyway, you will bring me that money and I shall leave this town and never return. That will be the last you will ever hear from me, and the rest of your town will be unharmed. You, you have until 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you don't do this, then once again, I will start destroying these cars one by one. We have a lot of explosives, so don't think we're bluffing. And the same applies if there's any police involved when the rescue attempts. We're currently sending my location to you uh, through Gmail, so you only have the access to it, assuming that you don't give it to anyone else, but you already know the consequences. I hope we can settle this life as respectable men. Once again, you have till 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Don't try me. Life as respectable men? What? What bullcrap? Lightning, calm down. We'll figure something out. They're like my they're, they're like my family. I can't want to be destroyed. They're like that to me as well. All we have to do is give them the money, and then we can get them apprehended after he release, releases everyone. No, Miles Axrod doesn't care about our money. Don't you see? He just wants us to go to him so he can kill us both. Why in the world would he suddenly want to go from killing me to wanting half my net worth? It's a trap. You're right. But this makes the situation even worse. It's basically our lives or our friends' lives. <sighs> Regardless. We gotta go see who's been captured. So it appears they took... Well, Finn and Sheriff were captured first. Hopefully they're okay. But it looks like they took Chick and Fillmore. Dad, no! 
those backstabbing sons of Siamese salamanders. Fillmore too? What are we gonna do? Our friends are in danger. Everyone calm down, we'll figure something out. But one thing is for sure, I'm not going to give Axelrod that money. Lightning, are you out of your mind, man? I mean, you, you literally heard what Axelrod said, right? He said, if you don't give him the money by 6 o'clock, he's gonna kill him. Why are you backing off? I know that, Mater. I'm not backing off. Uh, officer, what do you think we should do? This is a bar very high-stakes situation. Your friend's lives are in danger, but at the same time, we can't simply go into, you know, Axelrod's, uh, Axelrod's demands. He's in contact with, with his minions, and we'll have to apprehend him somehow without alerting the others. But we have to find out where they're being held at first, and that'll be impossible. Indeed. Actually, <laughs> there's something Axelrod doesn't realize. What's that, CJ? My dad has a hidden GPS, and I can I have it on my phone too. So we can con we can try to locate where he's at. Yeah, and Finn has that too. He I only have it too, me and Holly. Alright, not bad. We can locate those two and rescue him. And ha, ah, it's so good to be out of jail. Thank you, boss. Anytime. Anyways, we have a bomb in here. And it'll destroy the spy, the police officer, and McQueen. Yeah, right, like that's never gonna happen. You're probably terrible at throwing bobs anyways. Shut up! Alright, James, how's everything going? Everything's in order, Miles. Ready for action. You won't succeed with this. Excellent. What about you, Vlad? All set. Waiting for your commands. Oh, man. Right, here's the deal. Any sign of interference, let me know immediately, and we'll begin destroying these cars one by one. Hurry, you slow to look for road hazards. Get out there and help out. You know, guys, we probably shouldn't be working for Kabuto and Axrod no more. Yeah, they even gave Boost a black eye yesterday. We should quit. No way, man. I don't want to get scrapped. Alright, are we ready? <laughs> I'll never be ready, but we don't have a choice. Everyone's counting on us. We'll have your back the whole way. Just give him the fake check and then get away as soon as possible and leave the rest to us. Alright, that's the signal. Let's head to the rescue. For Fillmore. For Dad. For Radiator Springs. We're coming for you, Axelrod. Silence. Our guests have arrived. What? I is, is he insane? You better keep your mouth shut, McMissile. Alright, here we go. We've secret. We have to secretly surround the building. If he hears any gunshots, move in immediately. Oh, delinquent road hazards. We meet again. Indeed we do. Yeah, we're just, um, you know, passing through. We're just getting out of here. Yeah, what he said. I see. Surprised you didn't even call for a race. Lightning. That can happen later. Well, hello. Glad you made you made it safely. Well, there's the tractor fuel. CJ, can you please come with me? Uh, sorry, Mater. It'll be suspicious. And besides, you go to the tractor fuel all the time. You're a very brave tow truck. Yeah, you're right. I can do this. Mater, what are you doing here? Oh, sorry. I was going the uh, wrong way. I don't know where I'm heading. Uh-huh. Likely story. You better go back where you came from, you rusty hunk of junk. Oh, uh, no worry, I'll just try to hum and, and think about it, or something like that. Alright, there's Fillmore. But what was the signal again? Fire in the hole! What the? Oh, crap! Don't worry, soldier. I got you, Fillmore. You're safe with us right now. Oh, thank you, man. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, crap! Ah! Alright, I'll make it simple. Show us you don't have any weapons, and we'll give you the paycheck. Alright. I don't have nothing, well, except this light our ease for smoking. Okay, all we want is peace. Just hand over the bloody check, and you won't see me again. Alright, here you go. Ah, exactly what I needed. There. Now leave, and never 
ever come back. Oh, don't worry, I have no plans of returning here. In fact, I don't think anyone will see you two alive either. Why didn't get out? Tally ho, chaps. Jumping Corvettes! Oh, crap, he set the building on fire. Now, wait a minute, what are you doing here if the town suspended its, op its operations? Because he's here to rescue the race car. I mean, there's only one of him. Oh, I'm not alone. Don't worry, Dad. We got you. We got you now. You're safe with us. Ugh. This isn't open yet. <laughs> yeah, well done, everyone. Quick, find an exit. Hurry, there isn't one. <laughs> We're surrounded. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why didn't it explode yet? It should have gone off. That pipe should have gone off ages ago. Oh, I was trying to kill you. What? How dare you try to kill your boss? I demand you, go in there and unplug it right now. Nope, I'm done doing your dirty work, Axelrod. Kill him yourself. Oh, get back here, you backstabbing. Jesus Christ, what are we gonna do? We're surrounded. Help! Help! <laughs> Help! Help! Everyone, get on board, quick! Quick, help me with this. Guys, I have a plan. We're gonna make that building explode. Axelrod, you might need to look at this. What in the world are you guys doing? We have no use left here, and neither do you. Stop. Stop. Stop! They just suicide bombed that building. I think Axelrod was in there. Which means... That means he's dead for real this time. Man, if I was there longer, I would have been melted into the liquid. Uh, I'm gonna need a new coat of paint. Well, it's over then. We can now confirm for a fact that Miles Axelrod is this time actually dead. And the delinquent road hazards too, I assume. Man, they did it for the sake of the town, not theirs. Even though they weren't the nicest, they were certainly one of the bravest. Man, February was crazy. Yeah, Axelrod faking his death. And that's what I call a shocking reveal. Yep, and I made it clear that Axelrod would fa face the full right of justice, and he did. Thanks to some brave efforts of some redeemed cars who sacrificed their life for it. And, the good thing is, the, uh, the airport's being repaired, Kabuto got arrested, and the town's gonna be peaceful for a while. Yep. Thank heavens.